I'm going to demonstrate that candles can catch on fire. But remember, you guys know that grease fire is a common thing. But I think something that you don't realize that even butter can be used for candles. Remember, it's fat. In the old days, they used whale fat to light candles. But it can catch on fire, people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how candle, fi candle fire can happen. I'm going to show you that even your butter, even your home grease can catch on fire. I'm going to show you what not to do, which you already know that you never, ever use water to extinguish a grease fire. You never, ever use water to extinguish a candle fire and how to extinguish it. Stay tuned. So here is the a, a stick of butter that I'm going to take. And I'm going to put the stick of butter in here. Okay. Let's take a stick of butter and put it in here and melt it. And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to use a torch to melt this. And then, and then what we're going to do is see if this thing catches on fire. So let's go. Here we go. We're trying. So I brought my fire extinguisher in case, because I'm, be, I'm being safe here. So here we are. We're going to light the candle. This is a regular candle with my wax. And this happens to be the butter. I want you to see that the butter actually does burn. It's the same thing as having, and, I, and it's all liquid, so I really didn't prepare that well, this, the, uh, the wick. But I want to show you that, by the way, never ever throw a match in the garbage. You got to put it in liquid water. And I have a towel, a wet towel here that I put it on. But as you can see, the, um, the wax will burn normally, and so will the butter. The butter in here is the Land O'Lake butter. I didn't make it perfect, but you can tell that both are burning. Both will continue burning. So I'm going to stay here and let it burn. And then I'm going to torch it to show you that not only does the candle burn, the wax can catch on fire if I use the torch. Why do I use the torch? Because the heat in the wax has to get really hot. And the reason I say that is people leave it all the way down here. You see, this has got three wicks. Three wicks is expanded up here. But when it gets down to the bottom, you can't leave it unattended. And you can't leave it on. You shouldn't leave it on for too long. Light it for an hour and, and then extinguish it and then come back and light it with a match and light it off and then you can use it till the end. But never let it run for eight, nine hours because then what happens is everything gets so hot. So let's try this. I'm going to show you how both of these, even butter, can catch on fire. So this is my torch. I have my fire extinguisher. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to start the fire on here first the butter. It's got to get really hot, people. Right? And for the sake of, I'm making a flambe. Is, is that what they call it? So I got to see if it catches on fire, and it will. Hang on. You see they're on fire. Here we are. Now they're both on fire. If you throw water on here, I'm going to spritz it up in the air. If you throw water on here, that one turned off, but look. You see, just a little bit of water. It's so dangerous, people. So dangerous. So do not do this. Even butter can catch on fire. This is a combustible. Wax is a combustible. And if I threw this water on it, it's going to go right in my face. And that you should now imagine, look what happens when I go real close. You see that? You see that how dangerous that is? So the question is, what do you do in a very calm way, very calm way, never get panicked. You get a wet towel, a very simple wet towel, and you put it right on it. 
and you're done. Simply, it goes away. If it's butter, if it's Crisco, if it's wax, they're all olive oil, they're all combustibles. Don't be fooled by, oh my God, I can leave it alone. You don't leave your cooking oil when you're frying and you walk away. You stay on the job, you focus on it, you don't let it burn on its own, people. And don't ever, ever, ever throw water on anything that is burning like that, especially wax. It's the same thing as a grease fire. A candle fire is the same, which this is the demonstration I'm showing you. A candle fire is the same as a grease fire. That was the easiest way to put this off. The PSA of the day. This is round two because somebody asked me, well, what about butter? What about Crisco? What about those hard waxes? My answer was, they're all combustible. This, look at this. This is boiling. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Okay? How dangerous is that? That's just a little bit of water. Look at it. Look at it. A little bit of water did that. It was, this thing would have been splattered everywhere. This would have been like all over my face had I thrown water on it. And that was a demonstration. I love you guys.